What is up and welcome to the channel. I'm world champion speed skater Joey Mantia and today I'm going to share with you three tricks that I used in my career to win a lot of races. This is not a technical type tutorial. This is just me talking through three secrets that I used in my race strategies, things that help me conserve energy or manipulate the pack and put myself in the best position to win. And oftentimes they worked more than they didn't. So well, let's get right into it. The first one is if you're following somebody on the road or the track or in a marathon type situation this doesn't really work at indoor because there's only one place to really pass is the inside so it'd be hard to trick somebody but on the other three if you're following somebody and you want to make an easy clean pass without having to fight them too much you can try tapping them on the opposite side the opposite hip that you want to go so if i want to pass somebody on the left give them a couple taps on the right the second you start seeing their head turn to look to see what's going on you make a quick pass be aggressive and you are able to get back in by the time they realize what's going on and that seems like a really stupid thing but you would be shocked at how many times that has been successful for me at the world championships and at national championships and big events because people when they're racing they're they're nervous they're not going to always analyze exactly what's going on they're going to react sometimes without thinking and hopefully you can take advantage of that and save yourself some energy on passing and works pretty good in most situations so you might not be able to get away with it all the time, but you can add it to your little list of tricks and try to apply that to your racing strategy. There's a little tap on one side, hop around the other. The second one is something that probably won't work as often as the first one, but it's something I wanted to share because it has awarded me a few world titles in my career by using this to manipulate the pack and being the one to initiate the sprint and having control over that is a huge element to a race strategy if you can actually apply it. So in 2007, world championships on the road, the elimination race, coming down to two laps to go. The lap is pretty big, goes all the way around the actual bank track. So it's not something you want to try to sprint the entire lap with fast guys behind you. You wanna be the one to initiate at the last possible second to create a good field sprint. And it's oftentimes hard to control people that are behind you. People get antsy and you don't wanna to have to react to them. At least I didn't wanna to have to react to the guys behind me. So I came up with a wild idea of telling them to wait. I just kind of turned around and gave them one of these like, hold on because I was in second place. The guy in front of me was starting to wind it up a little bit. And I thought maybe if I just tell them to wait, they'll actually wait. And they did. And I have no idea why it's not something I would have done. I don't think, but it works. And it's something you can put into your bag of tricks of just trying to coax the people behind you to wait for the field sprint. If you exude that confidence, oftentimes that, that nervousness that people are feeling in the race and coming down to the last lap, maybe they'll listen to you. You never know. So that's the second one. The third one is something that I've never heard anybody talk about or do in a race that I was in. And it doesn't mean that somebody hasn't done this before or thought it up, but I have never experienced it being done to me. And I have never seen anybody in a race do it to somebody else that I was in or talk about, never heard any coach talk about this or anything. So the third one and probably the most effective one that I've ever used, and it works for indoor skating, outdoor marathons, especially marathons, is when when you're following somebody that is going faster than you want to go for example you're on a breakaway somebody just broke and you're in second place following them and they're they're putting the heat on and you really are not comfortable going the pace that they're going and you're starting to worry like maybe i'm not going to be able to keep this pace up you just put your hand right on their back so you make contact with them you don't want to push them you don't want to give them your speed you just want to let them know you're there and that little contact you would be amazed at the amount of self-doubt that creates in the person in front of you because in speed skating if somebody's touching you that means they're running into you and that means you're not going as fast as you probably thought so if somebody's in front and they're hammering and you just touch them that's going to cause a lot of doubt in their head and it probably will cause them to slow down and this has happened so many times in my career especially in marathon type races where i wanted it to come down to a field sprint and i had to chase the brakes because you have to be aggressive and be on them just in case they happen but you can kind of manipulate people by just touching them and letting them know you're there and they'll slow down most of the time. I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I touch somebody for an extended period of time, five, 10 seconds when they're on a breakaway and they actually didn't slow down. They actually kept hammering. So that's something you can try to use in your own little book of tricks. And I don't know if these things will always work for you, but these are three things that I wanted to share. That third one, I've never really told anybody maybe a handful of people in the last couple of years. But when I was racing, I never shared that with any teammates, any coaches, nothing. 
that was my secret that I used. And that was kind of like in my little repertoire of, of tricks that was the Hail Mary if I really needed it. So those are three tricks you can add to your race strategy repertoire and pull them out whenever you need them. They're not guaranteed to work all the time. It depends on who you're racing against and what their background is, what their experience is, but they're always nice to have and to try and to perfect. And ultimately you wanna turn yourself into a very obnoxious competitor. And by that, I don't mean cheating. You just wanna be the guy that gets the best of everybody else most of the time. And that will get everybody on edge. And I guarantee you, if, if you're able to turn yourself into that person, you are gonna be much more successful in your race strategies and you're gonna be able to control the pack much better being that kind of racer versus somebody who's a little bit more passive. So I hope you enjoyed those three tips. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you next time.